Valentina just off the track after the 200 yeah. final for your immediate thoughts? I mean, I definitely came here wanting the gold medal, so I'm not like over the moon, <laughs> but I'm at the same time, I know I'm like not really too happy, but at the same time, Majinka put together a great race, and well, when you're in major finals, when you're in championship finals, that's what matters really, so congratulations to her, silver medal, I guess, it's all right, but I definitely came here for the gold. How much of a frustration has this year been? You've sort of had various ups um, and downs. Ups and downs, but ultimately I'm really proud of it because at the same time, um, World Championships was great for me. I finished like the best sprinter outside Jamaica and that was always our number one target this year. And I was happy to equal my, what is it, my national record in the 100. The 200 was so crazy. <laughs> so to come away with a bronze in that was amazing. So ultimately I'm really happy with this season. I'm really happy with, with how it's gone. It's had lots of up and downs, lots of them off track. But I think at the end of the day, kind of championship performing and performing is making it work you need to. And I was really, really proud of how we've been able to do well for the major chances. And tonight's race, was it just a case of um, things not going to plan? Or? No, um, I honestly just think, like, you know, sometimes somebody just wants faster than you. <laughs> I know, that's so simple, but I didn't really, I didn't really, I'll go back to my coach and he'll say here, there and everywhere. But um, ultimately, I don't feel bad, I'm not in bad shape, probably could have run a bit quicker than that. But arguably, maybe so could she, it was quite cold out there tonight. And ultimately, like, she's just run a bit of race and sometimes that's just what it is. Yeah, putting it that simply is just a reminder of how, Honestly? Of, of how cutthroat. Yeah, like, I've, there's nothing really else to say, so. <laughs> just didn't win. <laughs> um, and have you been surprised by the scale of the event? Of what you were, your yeah, comments you I didn't yesterday. actually like expect that at all because I was just being quite frank and like because I was getting a bit frustrated because I kept getting people saying, "Are oh, you an amateur? You don't know how to hijack." I'm like, guys, I've been a pro athlete since I was 16. I definitely know hydration. So um, it's just you know sometimes I mean I'm absolutely fine now as a woman. You know these things one day, next day, one day, it's like fine. And then yeah, but um, I was quite surprised about the the reaction. But yeah. Yeah, I guess the scale of the reaction yeah. highlights the problem even Yeah, more. because I think like it is something that I think we really should put more research into here. And I know that there's a lot of economic troubles all around at the moment. So maybe more funding <laughs> uh, could go definitely in loads and loads and loads of places right now. But um, definitely more research because it is something that when you speak to loads of, of, of female athletes, it is very much a big determiner of performance like day to day. And lots of girls around the back, you, you'll see them come on the track and they'll do all right, but it's slightly off. And everybody kind of at home or in the studio and stuff there, saying all this stuff and when you've just seen them in the hotel like have cramps all day and like lie on the floor in pain you know so um, it would be great if it was more of an open conversation and I just but that's because I always think that it's incredibly valuable for like the audience as well to completely understand what elite performance is like and, and what it takes to be an elite performer and also to normalize these kind of things to talk about them openly yeah 100% yeah